kind of cool. I mean, being able to have your hands free, right? You can. I can see it pretty handy for going on hikes. Then you can talk to me back, right? And I know. Stay, and then stay quiet. <laughs> well, you were talking. But I can see it handy, like when we went to uh, Tennessee and the mountains, going, you know, through the trails and stuff. I think it'll be pretty nice uh, being able to, you know, hold the backpack, grab, you know, other things. Or when we were taking pictures, it was really difficult to take pictures with him because he kept holding my hand. And being able to take pictures with both hands now and have him hands free. And I know that if he tries to take off, it's he's, he's good. He's, he's on me. It's nice. And it's cool that you could actually, you know, give him a little bit more slack or less. You know, I can keep him right there. Apollo, you like your new leash? It's cool. I wish we could buy them some of these cute ones but unfortunately this is an extra large like hello <laughs> they will never fit on something like this too long yeah it's kind of how many feet super, it is it's not good for i think it's like eight feet total i don't think it's good for like you know i guess urban kind of things you know going to a store or something because you want to have more control of your, your animal but for like a trail i think when we go camping or something or go on a, on a hike i think it's pretty good you know give them some space let them smell things um and have fun Apollo. but it's neat because you could also like tie them out tie them down you know, just untie this here, and if you need to for any reason, you know, I could tie him down to the little rail here, or a tree or something, you know, if you're out and about, you know, he's good. And I'm going to make sure he's not going to run away on me or take off. So that's kind of nice. Sure, buddy, what is that? <laughs> Do you want one? Should we get one? Distance training and make sure that he's not gonna take off on me. We like this part, like it looks durable, it don't look like it's gonna break. It looks like metal, but like a different type of metal.
weeks after Hurricane Hume, we still have all the trees the city haven't come by to pick them up, so don't mind our trees in the ground. He won't pull me though. He's a good boy, he's not gonna pull me. <laughs> we are testing the different type. I think it's the different the waist. waist so you could put it. Yeah, on the waist, like if he pulls, it doesn't really feel like anything. I feel like I, I'm not gonna lose balance. But he's a good boy. He doesn't pull. He's not a puller. You know, I've taught him well. some of the stuff Apollo got today at Petsmart. We got them a puzzle to see if this one is mostly for Venus. Venus do better with puzzles. We will try this one later tonight to see if Venus liked it. Greenies, they love greenies. And this one have different flavors. I have never seen one, the blueberry and fresh. We normally get them the original and we have got them before this one that is pumpkin for October fall season and they love this one, the pumpkin. Um, we got him a cone toy that it looked very durable, have a squeaky, have rope. Do you want it? You want it. Squeaky balls that we have a love-hate relationship with this. Because they love to play with this, but they annoy me when I'm watching TV and they're squeaky, 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 squeak. <laughs> and this is a Himalaya cheese. Their shoe for dogs are really durable. Venus already tried to get one through the bag. <laughs> and we got them a new bowl and covers for Venus because she has her period right now. So, she need new panties. About the Jaeger uh, leash that we got them, we have mixed feelings. We need to definitely keep testing it for a few more days to be able to have a, a final thought. We like a lot of the stuff, but it was also a little uncomfortable when we put it around the shoulder. If we call, uh, we call him to pull me a little bit, like that I could test if he was in a situation that he would pull and it was painful right here and it bothered me um, and I think it's a little expensive for what it is the cost is around $66 um, it's made in the USA which is really nice this part here is like a really tough material I'm not sure if it's metal or plasticky, I don't know I think it's metal but they put like a sleeve over it so that I don't know it doesn't get corroded yeah, it's or... like the inside does look like metal. Yeah, I think it's metal. Uh, on the website it says it's a metal sleeve that holds it together. Well, we will be testing it for a few more days. It does look really good like to go on a hike, in a trail where they don't have too many places where to pull you around. So I think for that look really good. For everyday use, I don't think it's good. And if you have dogs that they pull a lot, I also don't think they are meant for dogs that are pullers our dogs they don't pull as much unless they see a squirrel so I don't think I think it's good for them and for what we want they will be for doing hikes and stuff like that so I will keep you updated to see if we like it or not in their website say that it have lifetime warranty which is also really good and the material of the actual leash is look really nice, really durable, really expensive. I like that. It is like, it's a really, really tough material. I have never seen any other leash 
like this so that part I really like it it's really good like I say we will test it for a few more days and I will give you my final thoughts in a few more days because there were things that like for example one thing that I did like it it was when my husband put him in a palm tree he could walk away to do duration training and I'm not scared that the dog is gonna run away because he's tied to something and this you can move it as big or as small as you want it. like if it's a pole, palm tree or something really small so you could put it for a second when you're training or a really big tree, it's pretty big I think it's 8 feet in total so I like that part well, I will see for the next few days something else that I like is the carabiner part because last year for New Year's we went to Vermont and we had a normal leash that we got in I think PetSmart and when it got frozen the I don't know how you will call it the part they closed it got frozen and it didn't close or open so it was like really scary because I couldn't open the, the leash to put it on her or to take it out from her so I don't think I will have this problem with this because this is meant to be for hiking and for rock climbing and all those string things so I will think it will work really good in the snow And you can always just take it right off and change it for a different carabiner if you don't like that one. Which is kind of cool. You can't really do that on another leash.